question 5a exhaust system um, mostly fitted with a catalytic converter and normally metal uh, catalyst will use in the catalytic converter so for part one name three metal catalysts used in these uh, converters okay so they are platinum palladium and rhodium okay so these three metal catalysts they are just added into the syllabus you all must know the names for this catalyst part two explain what is means by heterogeneous catalyst okay so this is comparison between the catalyst and the reactant so the catalyst which in a different phase to the reactants same phase is homogeneous different phase with the reactant then is heterogeneous catalyst okay part b <clears throat> so now we have uh, two reaction urea okay which it will form the uh, isocyanic acid this one HNCO and ammonia so after that this uh, isocyanic acid will further react with uh, water vapor to form the ammonia and CO2 okay, so we're going to use the uh, table 5.1 all the delta HF and the entropy uh, for the Gibbs calculation later Okay, part one explain what is means by the term entropy of system entropy is always the measure of randomness of a system so how random is a system uh, this we call entropy part two use the data in this table 5.1 calculate the Gibbs energy for reaction 2 a uh, reaction 2 then we need to know what is the reactants and the products involved okay so we must use all the delta hf and entropy okay for these reactants and the products okay so we start with the calculation of entropy uh, we use the entropy of the products minus the entropy of the reactants okay so you get negative 20.4 joule per kelvin per mole remember entropy is units is in joule not kilojoule so it's a joule per kelvin per mole okay enthalpy you're <clears throat> going to do the same calculation use the products entropy of the formations of products minus the uh, enthalpy of the uh, formations of the uh, reactant so use again for enthalpy you need to use the delta hf of the products minus the delta hf of the reactants then you get negative 95.9 kilojoule per mole after that you have to substitute the delta h that calculated just now and the delta s that calculated just now into the gibbs equation uh, please remember this gibbs equation delta g equal to delta h minus t delta s okay so for this calculation one very important thing is you must convert joule to kilo joule just now i told you that the entropy is in joule so you have to make sure it's changed or it's convert to kilo joule so therefore 20 negative 20.4 need to over thousand convert joule to kilojoule okay temperature okay 25 degrees c means is 298 kelvin 
so times negative 20.4 over 1000 so uh, together with the enthalpy the Gibbs energy it will be negative 89.8 kilojoule per mole okay so this is standard calculation for Gibbs energy using the entropy and the enthalpy part C the ammonia form in the reactions 1 and 2 can be used to remove nitrogen dioxide from the exhaust okay so now reaction 3 is given ammonia with NO2 form N2 and H2O use the equations uh, for the reactions 1 2 3 to construct an over equations for the reductions of NO2 using urea so make sure we let NO2 and the urea okay, as the reactants so means NO2 means the reaction 3 this one no need to reverse just stay and for the urea which is the reaction 1 this one also stay so because the urea need to react with the NO2 here right so means the equation 1 stay this one stay and the equation 3 also stay no reversed and after that we need to eliminate the ammonia on the left hand side so how to eliminate so equation 1 we need to times 4 equation 2 we need to times 4 as well so when both times 4 so we get uh, 8 and h3 so therefore this one can be eliminated okay after that just try to <clears throat> uh, do the cancellation again so remove the uh, isocyanic acid and of course the water so here 8 H2O remain and after that you get this overall equation so basically it's very easy uh, means the in order to ge get this uh, overall equation uh, the first equation you need that times 4 second equation times 4 and the uh, third equation uh, you just let it be no, no need to times anything and you sum it up you get this overall equation okay part D uh, this part is quite uh, difficult because uh, in order to get the structure of the uh, acid cyanuric acid uh, first you need to compare compare the isocyanic acid this one HNCO with the uh, cyanuric acid which is a C3 H3 N3O3 so from here we know that it's going to be uh, three isocyanic acid needed because from this to this is actually times 3 and it's better for you to know the structure of this uh, isocyanic acid so it's actually HNCO means the double bond between the C and N and the C and O okay after that so try to put these three um, acid together so the C N double bond will the pi bonds will open up and it will form a new bond new C N bond here another C N double bond okay the pi bonds break and it will form another C new C N bond another double bonds break it will form a new another new CN bond okay after that it will form this cyanuric acid okay and <clears throat> you need to make sure 
the carbon and nitrogens they are alternating means uh, nitrogen then next is carbon then nitrogen carbon nitrogen and carbon so by doing this then you can get this uh, cyclic compound okay part e isocyanic acid is a weak acid equilibrium is given pka is given uh, write the mathematical expression for the pka and ph so this one is very easy pka is equal to negative log ka ph is negative log concentration of hydrogen ion Okay, calculate the pH for the 0.12 mole per dm cube uh, HNOC, uh, sorry, uh, HNCO, the isocyanic acid. Okay, give your answer in 3 SF. Okay, so first, uh, you need to know uh, the equations that uh, it's going to use. In order to calculate the pH, we must get the concentration of hydrogen ion. To calculate the concentration of hydrogen ion, we must use this formula. Square root of Ka times the concentration of the acid. So first, we need to find the Ka. pKa is given, is 3.7. So therefore, Ka, we know that is equal to 1.9995 times 10 power negative 4. Okay, substitute the Ka into this uh, formula. Okay, with the concentrations, 0.12 so then concentration of hydrogen ion you should get this 4.893 times 10 power negative 3 okay after that negative log this you get 2.31 okay the last part calculate the percentage of HNCO molecules that are ionized in the 0 0.12 mole per dm cube acid so this one very easy uh, the <clears throat> we need to use the uh, concentration of the hydrogen ions that calculated over the concentrations of the acid itself okay times 100 percent you get 4.1 percent okay, so this one is a percentage of ionization how much of this hydrogen ions form right that's all thank you